brings out there you need to glance at planet Earth. I want to show you something. I typed earthquakes and you see up there, right? Clearly, right? I only got three results, see? That's why I'm always telling people to be careful about spelling, right? See, you only, only see three, right? That's the problem when you see three. Not a single one in Revelations, right? But what happens if you take the uh, S off, right? And see right there, take the S off. Boom. 16 of them, right? Five of them in Revelation, by the way. Notice that. God uses earthquakes to mark special events, right? And we're interested in these right here, right? Five of them in Revelation. Now, you a moment ago saw three, and suddenly 16, right? All the matter is spelling. We must be very careful. But there's a great earthquake there, right? With the sixth seal, and lo, right? And then the angels, oh, come on, look. Do I need to say more? The events coming in, a, God marks them with earthquakes, right? Great word. I did just regular earthquake here. I like this one. You go to this site right here. I'll bring it up for you right here so you can see it. Uh, you can probably see this right here, King James Bible Online. That are, you can have different versions here. But I went for the 1611 here. I like the language better. You know, you do the same search as earthquakes, right? And let's see what we get. Turn that around there. Back her up. And hit enter. And also, woo, again. See, 16, right? So it's not just one site, right? So look at all of them in Revelation still to come. And I know there's a great earthquake, right? The God uses earthquakes to mark certain events, right? So, you know, you know what's going on around you, don't it? I like to say. And you, you can see the original text, and that's what the, all the others are based on, right? You can see way different, right? Can you look at these things, right? God is talking to you, right? You got to pay attention, right? You know, and here's a great earthquake. It's just, we've not seen men since, oh, come on, man, you know. And, you know, it's Revelation 16, right? Now, you got to do your search carefully, right? Now, I love this movie, Sergeant York. It was a spiritual movie ever made. I got my Christian movies are there on top right now, right? Guy changing guys like in your half. Here's Indonesia. I can point to these, you know. And you can see things moving there, right? This is recent, right? <laughs> you were, you know, you look at the time here, right? But even though it's online, I didn't know if I was allowed to put it on there without getting in trouble, you know? Because, hey, look at this, man. What do you going on all over the planet? Picking up worse and worse and worse. And and even far greater ones on their way. That's what I'm going to tell you. When I said God was uses vol uh, earthquakes and volcanoes and stuff, I meant it. Because it's in the scripture. The thing is, they hide it in the way we do the search. You've got to know. you got to try. Don't give up after one. Because sometimes there's way more results. It was just on the way you're wording. If you try to spell... Show S H O W instead of H H E W. Totally, you get zero results, and then you get Tim and Second Timothy there, right? Because they spell things differently a long time ago. This word, right? That's why you need to check your word and focus. You don't understand something, do a search on it. I I do biblical meaning of, and it'll tell you. You'll see several come up, and they all say the same thing. You know, you're right on the money. Because words have changed. The meaning of words is not the same now as it was a long time ago. The way they spelled words back then and now are totally different. If you don't do your search right, you're not going to find anything. That's why so many get lost, right? They should have like a modern version of that so that uh, they really need to upgrade. So that it turns around and says, okay, that's what he meant, boom, and go right automatically. Like, what do you mean? And this verse right here, and they show it, and then the person go, oh, yes, okay, to help. But hey, you know, who am I, right? I'm just a person who read the Bible and knows it's there. But when you do the search, unless you spell it right, just a simple matter of an S. And you got 3 verse 16, 13 you didn't even see. Something to think about. Study your Bible. See what else you're missing. Bye-bye.